Hey everyone, I'm back with another, uh, just a little, like, uh, video anal analyzing and explaining my thoughts, uh, video, and the last video I did was, a uh, Resident Evil Resistance, and, um, I didn't really have a fun time with that game, but this one is, uh, completely different from that. Now, I should explain how I came upon this, uh, game. This game is called, uh, Summer Imara, I think it's uh, called, and I hope I didn't get that wrong, but um, I came upon this uh, neat little game browsing through the Steam uh, store trying to find uh, anything uh, related to anime, more particularly from like uh, Hayao Miyazaki or Studio Ghibli, and um, of course I'm a sucker for anime stuff, but the problem is with when it comes to anime, games on Steam, it, like, half of them are just visual novels and such, and more than half the time, they usually end up as pornographic, uh, adult visual games, and the most famous one, I think, is, uh, what was it, uh, Poppy Hop, I think it's called, you, the one with the puzzles and such, where you solve them in order to get laid with those, uh, anime chicks, but, um, this game is completely different, so, this game, uh, Summer and Mara, now, this, the footage you're seeing here is the, called, the prologue, meaning it's kind of like a demo in what's going to come, now, this game is, the full game is going to be released on June 15th, and as of right now, it is, for me, it's, June 10th. So, the premise of, like, uh, Summer of Mara, it doesn't really, uh, go in depth with the story yet, but basically, you're playing this, uh, young girl named Koa that's on this, uh, small, uh, very small island with, uh, her elder, Yaya Haka, and basically, you're just like uh, living a uh, life on this uh, island, so it's all about kind of a uh... yeah, yeah, Haku. Okay, so I was just seeing on one of the footages, see if I got the name right. So basically, the game is kind of like uh, Animal Crossing and uh, maybe Harvest Moon, but I have not played either of those games at all. So the closest comparison I can make is uh, Minecraft because I love that game, and, um, you're basically, uh, doing, like, daily, uh, chores routines, like, on farming, just to keep everything maintained and such, and, um, from what I saw in the trailer video, it's supposed to be kind of like an action-adventure, uh, 3D platformer as well, so you're not limited to just the island, you do go to other places in the world, and you'll be sailing, now, which is kind of, which, I don't know the whole story of it, um, the only thing I do know is there's something, uh, sacred about the island that they're on, but that's all I know about it, but, yeah, and the gameplay is, like, kind of, uh, neat, so, basically, you're just, like, uh, going around, like, uh, planting, uh, seeds for your crops, and, uh, Chopping down trees to get wood and such, getting like uh, fruits and vegetables and such, and feeding the animals, all that jazz. So, nothing chaotic going on, though I imagine that will change in the full version when uh, the days progress. Now, this uh, prologue uh, demo, it only exp only like uh, covers the first day, then after that it will show you a trailer of the full game coming soon. And, uh, visually, uh, the game actually looks really, uh, nice. Now, initially, when I saw it, I kind of thought it looked like something from, uh, underfunded, uh, Kickstarter, uh, campaign or something like that, but it, uh, but this one actually feels kind of like, a uh, top-notch. Uh, visuals look actually pretty impressive. Uh, it kind of reminds the cell shading, uh, style. It kind of reminds me of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Even though that game was pretty, uh, divisive when it first came out. And to be honest, I haven't played much of, like, a Wind Waker since it, since the Nintendo GameCube. So, I have, like, uh, 
not that not too much memories of uh, playing that game but that's like the closest comparison I can make with the uh, visuals because it actually looks uh, really neat um, as for Koa you might be confused as to why she looks like a boy in game as opposed to like the text that appears during conversations with her and ya Yaya Haku because on like the promotional images that she looks like a girl but in act but in the game it looks like as though she's a uh, a boy for some uh, strange reason I don't know if that's like kind of an oversight on the developers uh, perspective or if that's like their uh, choice of like uh, style and direction to go with either way I'm fine with that and I think they're trying to make it look like she's a tomboy or something but I don't know anyways um, and as for uh, Yaya Haku I could not tell you for the life of me what species she's supposed to uh, represent and yeah, in addition to like uh, raising like uh, crops and uh, during harvest seasons, you also uh, create like uh, tools and uh, I think maybe weapons, but I'm not sure. Like uh, the closest thing you get to a weapon right now is the axe, which you basically use to chop down trees for wood. And there's also the torch, which you use to light up the outdoor uh, torches though you can accidentally use it to burn down trees and bushes as I've discovered and like uh, getting these like tools and such you, there's like you go inside like the small house where there's a tool shop the workshop the kitchen and there's to uh, sleep the fourth option which you uh, choose by the end of the day when it's uh, nighttime when it's a wrap and um, playing this, booting this game up for the first time, I didn't actually know what to expect. I didn't look at any videos before playing this whatsoever. So I was pretty much uh, unaware of, of how I was going to react to this game. And um, I thought I wasn't going to enjoy it that much, but it actually turned out to be quite the opposite. Because I'm pretty familiar with uh, how I play with uh, Minecraft in particular like doing uh, farm stuff and raising uh, crops and such so it's all uh, pretty familiar to me so basically you start out on the top of the house where Koa is just looking beyond the ocean because I think she, it implies she's supposed to be wants to be an explorer or something like that so it's kind of like uh Luke Skywalker and how he wants to travel the galaxy and such, but being stranded on that farm uh, land in Tatooine. That's kind of like the closest comparison I could uh, make, and she's kind of like, uh, kind of like lazy at times because she doesn't want to do some of the work, but she's always like uh, really nice to uh, Yaya, especially getting some of the work done. But anyways, um. I should probably get into the gameplay itself. Well, it does play similarly to like most like uh, 3D platformers, though for this game, like it actually is not bad at all. Though I kind of feel like it's in beta, even though they don't say it's like in a beta yet. But that's because of a few uh, things I've noticed when uh, playing this game. There's, uh, for example, uh, in addition to like uh, walking, you're able to run. Now, this isn't any uh, type of running, but you're able to run really fast. And by that, I mean with the running speed that Koa has, you can run from one end of the island to the other in about a minute. It just flat out one minute, which is kind of bizarre, though... I don't know if the developers are aware of this, but I imagine they'll, and if they are, I don't know whether or not that will be fixed in the final version, because, um, I don't know, it's like I'm not really complaining too much, but I think, uh, she probably has a bit too much, uh, speed on her, uh, feet. And of course she walks on normally, but when she's, like, uh, walking, uh, very, uh, slow, like as though it's, like, taking one baby step at a time she 
walks a bit too fast, almost like as though she's not even touching the surface of the ground. And I figured that out when I was first start, first like started playing the game. And um, another uh, thing I notice is that there doesn't seem to be much of the physics thing happening with the uh, the boundaries, if that makes any sense. So basically. With these like uh, big boulders and rocks, they're supposed to uh, kind of like represent boundaries. But as I've discovered with the prologue uh, version of this game, you're able to scale those uh, ocean boulders by so much. And it's kind of ridiculous how much you're able to scale them. Because like, whereas there's a path that intends you, that the game intends you to take... You can just scale up the map, scale up the rocks, and you're already there. Now, I don't know if the developers are aware of this, though. I imagine they might have picked up on this at some point, and it might be fixed in the final version, or maybe that's intentional for like uh, speedrunners to uh, speedrun this game. And that's uh, kind of like uh, strange because. It, that's why the re that's like the main reason why I feel this is in beta because you can just scale the rocks uh, so uh, easily, especially when you're uh, in the ocean. Now, speaking of such, you are able to swim, but you do have a stamina bar that indicates how much stamina you have left before you I don't know maybe drown or something like that. Though that hasn't happened to me, but. The only way to like recover your stamina to keep swimming is if you're on a uh, solid uh, land and it will recharge your stamina. But here's the thing, when I was swimming around the island, around the rocks, it was uh, kind of easy to find like any small nicks that had a solid uh, platform for my feet to get on just to re recover my stamina. And that was like a, I think probably a glitch or something, though. Once again, I don't know if this is going to be in the final version, or if this is going to be fixed. And, um, so yeah, like, uh, there's also like a, oh yeah, um, I should like get into like our objectives, what you have. Um, it also, uh, you also have to plant like, uh, new trees and such, though you never really see them, uh, fully grow because this is only a one day, uh, demo. And, um, for the most part, like, uh, you're just talking to, uh, yeah, yeah, about a lot of our task on what you need to do and such. Which involves like uh, planting, cutting down trees, and going fishing to make a dish plate for her when she returns on her boat. Though, as I've seen in the trailer, I think it implies that we will use that boat in the final version. And yeah, you can also uh, interact with a uh, few animals if you give them the right uh, food to uh, give them. And speaking of such, like, uh, there's no enemies as I've dis uh, discovered. I thought the enemies would come in the form of those like uh, crabs that were on the beach, but as it turns out, they're just as friendly as the chicken and pigs that are in this game, which is uh, kind of strange. Though, I don't know if there's going to be any actual enemies in this, uh, in the full version, but we'll just have to wait and see. Oh yeah, and there's also, like, uh, some moments where the, where, like, uh, some things are able to pass through, like, uh, solid matter. For example, some of, the, like, the seagulls on the beach are able to pass through the beach surface as well as some of the rocks uh, placed on the beach as well which is which again just shows you that it almost feels like it's in a beta though whether or not that's going to be patched in the final version is yet to be seen but um but yeah it's like a pretty uh an interesting little uh, game that I stumbled upon and um, mute and the music uh, I forgot to mention the music is actually uh, really good though my only complaint is that they don't uh, loop they just play the one track for that one like uh, 
for that one duration of the length that they are recorded as, and then, like, afterwards, it's just, like, three to four minutes or maybe five minutes of, like, uh, silence with just the background uh, noise, and then it just goes into another uh, piece of music, and then same thing happens over and over again. And um, it was actually neat, though. The first time I actually played this game when I was recording it, I thought I was recording all the audio and music, though when I went back to uh, look at the footage, I noticed, though I think it was before I uh, looked at the footage, when I start, stopped recording, I realized that I may not have had, may not have switched the audio setting on my uh, OBS, thus it didn't capture the audio, though it did capture the footage. So what I did was replayed the, the game just to get like the music to play in the background that you're uh, hearing right now, so that was uh, my bad. But yeah, like, the music is actually really chilling, and it actually fits well with this uh, game. But, but it only... Uh, yeah, sorry. Though I think, like, the uh, music, uh, it only, like, uh, it doesn't, like, have a set, like, uh, Location of where it should play like an atmospheric like a uh, tune. It just like plays whenever And um, uh, another oh, yeah, I forgot to mention like there's a lot of things I, I sometimes I keep forgetting to mention uh, there's like a thing like an issue with like uh, Being idle in the game uh, what I mean is whenever Koa is sitting on the top of the house or is sitting on a bench you're able to zoom you're able to Rotate the camera around her, then zoom in and out. Though, strangely, when you zoom in close to her face, she actually gets blurred for some uh, strange reason. I'm not sure why that is. I'm not sure if it's supposed to focus on, like, on the background or whatever, but I just figured I should bring that up. But I actually uh, kind of uh, enjoyed uh, playing this game, and I will definitely consider uh, getting uh, picking up this uh, full version. And I don't know whether I'm going to do a let's play of it or I'm going to do a video review of it. Though it won't be in the video review like this, but more uh, professional. But um, yeah, that's all I kind of really have to say about it. And uh, the game runs at a smooth. 60 frames per second, so there you go, and as for whether or not it'll run in 4k, I Kind of doubt it But you don't really need to have 4k on a game like this even at Like I'm running this game at a 14 uh, 40p though Even at 1080 it still looks quite amazing Though it's kind of like a bit rough around the edges it Shines like uh, pretty well But yeah, that's all I kind of like have to uh, say about it and all the issues that I uh, mentioned with it though It doesn't really hamper the game much it just uh, it just gets you through this uh, demo much faster than you probably should Because like oh my god the running uh, running speed is just ridiculous But yeah, um, I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this, and once again, the game is called uh, Summer Imara, and it will be available to purchase on June 15th, which by the time I'm recording this is five days away. And um, I haven't seen too much like uh, reviews like being done for this game after like I played, played it, though I imagine that will change in the days to come, because this is... Kind of a definite, like, a pickup to get if you're interested in uh, 3D platformers, especially one that's in uh, anime style, because, uh, it do like, games like this, uh, doesn't come upon that often, but it will get, but it will, uh, give you quite a good time if you're into games like, uh, Harvest Moon and, uh, Animal Crossing, or, like, uh, Minecraft, you'll definitely enjoy this, because there's definitely going to be crafting, uh, items and such and all those uh, good things so be sure to look out for it on uh, Steam and it's not going to be available on uh, GOG I already checked so 
yeah, that's uh, about it for this. Uh, for my thoughts on this, I hope you uh, enjoyed it. It'll hope it'll encourage you to actually pick this game up, or at least try out the demo and see what you think. I know that not everyone's going to enjoy this game, but I just figure I bring this to attention, and hopefully it'll get more uh, recognition because. I actually kind of want this game to uh, succeed. But yeah, thank you all for uh, watching, and until next time, I will catch you all later.